man is not tripartite just just listen just absorb it and, and just listen carefully there is no such concept as spirit stand here soul stand here body stand here Th that is nonsense watch this listen i understand what people who purport this are trying to say man is spirit but because of the law of territory that any spirit that must function in the earth realm must sustain a material body made of the materials of that territory it's called the law of territory that's why we cannot live in the water indefinitely why because there is something about that that ecosystem are we together that we were not built for you fly but you don't live in the air if you fly excessively you have something called a jet lag it's a reminder that you were not designed to live on the air are we together now now <laughs> please listen to me man is spirit but a body had to be built for that spirit a body has thou prepared are we together the body hosts the spirit but there was a problem so here is spirit here is body there's no system of relating because they come from two different realms are we together so a medium was created that allows the duality of realms so that that entity can still relate with the realm he came from and still be effective in this realm hold on the name of that connector is called the mind the mind is a medium that's where we get the word media ah. so the assignment of the media is to connect intentions with experience pray in the spirit for one minute we, we have to ask god to help us this morning <laughs> Hashubrati salato jabra gaduzia na hasapandusia. Skadabrande gabaruzia ta. When a Proverbs 31 woman meets with a Job 29 man, they will make a Psalm 112 home. The unit of destiny is time whatever eats your time destroys your destiny are we together now it takes time to love god it takes time to know god it takes time to build your relationship with your wife and husband it takes time to know your children it takes time to sit down and think well and live a useful life everybody shout time one more time shout time so this is the foundation of the teaching on this mountain time redemption that whatever takes your time is taking your destiny do we agree so they tricked you <laughs> But there was a price that was prayed when Jesus came to this earth to save us all. We were bought with a price. So when you look at your phone and you look at your life, there's so many other parallels. And we could literally, I could spend the next 20 minutes drawing parallels. But this is what I want to talk about today. Is that no matter how much your phone can do how much potential it has, no matter how much it can change everything around you, that phone is of no use unless it hooks to a power source. I want you to understand that the same is applicable for your life. That everything that you want to do, the potential that God has placed on the inside of you to touch the entire world, the things, the creativity, all of the things that you feel when you go to sleep and you wake up with, it is of null and void 
if you do not connect to the power of God. So today, the title of the message is Power Source. Power Source. I want everybody to get connected to God. And I want us to realize that we will only be able to have limited effectiveness in whatever we're doing until we truly and continually plug into the power source. Somebody say power source. We say it does not matter and the realm of the spirit keeps recording it keeps recording it let me tell you the truth in this kingdom ladies and gentlemen kings reign by the dexterity and the excellency of their speakings the bible teaches us to beware what we say the moment the holy ghost is upon you there is power upon everything you say do you know one of the reasons why the gift of faith among the nine gifts of the spirit revealed the gift of faith does not rest upon people indefinitely it comes and it goes you know why because under the influence of the gift of faith anything you say will come to pass and if the gift of faith remains with you and you are angry and you tell your wife may god punish you and may you die you just meant i am angry you see a dead body fall in front of you did you not read about um what's the, the name now those guys and um ananias and Sapphira. you have lied against the holy ghost bam right there the wife came and did her own right there two of them they carried their dead bodies hours apart where the word of a king is there is power so while you were declaring this Abuja self is a useless place, a stupid place. This place, I don't know what kind of place is that. The realm of the spirit receives those words in vials and programs them into a climate. Now, please, I want you, if you don't believe this, you are not a Christian. The realm of the spirit is strict on speakings, especially when the anointing comes upon you. Words. The moment you begin to speak remember you are a spiritual rainmaker if i would use that expression you are programming something upon your life in israel for those of you who have had the opportunity to travel to israel historically even up until today when you curse somebody it is a very big issue in israel you know why because they were trained there from judaism they understand the power of the spoken word that I have not found this enabling grace working in my life where do I start from it starts with a decision that I'm going to commit myself this year to be in pursuit of light I'm going to cut away from vain activities that only distract and flatter and pursue substance as far as my destiny is concerned seeing then that my exploits are grace dependent and that this grace is knowledge dependent my passion for that grace must be expressed through my passion for knowledge structured knowledge that works because the bible says listen carefully it says that was the true light that means there are false lights they carry a semblance of results and you waste your time around them only to find out that they cannot translate to the profiting of your destiny in fact the bible says it this way paul mentoring his son in the gospel he says meditate on these things he says give yourself wholly to them that your profiting may appear unto how many all I made up my mind like never before that I will put myself in the position of a student who does not know anything because first Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 says let him that thinks he knows anything it says that he should know that he does not know anything yet as he ought to know so I challenge myself I thank God for what God is doing 
but there is a benchmark it says this one thing i do is that in your bible forgetting the things that are behind it didn't say forgetting bad things forgetting the things that are behind he says i press towards the mark of the high calling in christ i press i press i press study study the Bible says to follow them who through faith and patience have obtained. Do you know that what you are calling your future is already somebody's reality? There are people who by reason of the investment of the spirit, they have toured this earth. I'm telling you, they have tamed life like an animal. There are some them you can follow. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you the moment you start settling i am better than my relatives in the village you have pegged yourself at a level you see the character of champions is that they never see the finish line it is only the spectators that see the finish line a champion has lost the ability to see the finish line when coaches train champions they extend the finish line by several meters beyond the actual finish line so that psychologically they peg themselves at a higher standard and they are surprised on the day of competition that they finished because their mind still believes they should go further let me challenge someone here it is too early to start clapping for yourself i celebrate what you have started doing but if your pastor your man of god the prophet over your life is still with energy and passion driving you don't rest on the second day you rest on the seventh day some of you are already resting even before the seventh the seventh day Apostle, I went to my small fellowship. Oh, Apostle, I was invited for a fellowship and my goodness, the word was so powerful. Who marked you? By what parameters did you vet that meeting? In an exam where the highest students caught 7%, if you are given a award for first position, he's the one who will get it. He still failed but he failed the highest. If you now categorize people into a great system of F, uh, what they call it, E down to A, all the people bought the first position and the one who didn't write the exam will be in one category. Be careful who is clapping for you. Now, I'm not saying don't, don't enjoy. There are times to pat yourself at the back. But let me tell you, there is, there is the spirit of mediocrity that has stopped many people from accessing grace. Arriving too early, celebrating over nothing. We are talking of days where you will keep nations still for Jesus. channel i am bridget Trini, but you can call me pretty ceo in the building and that's an period and that's a sub i am here <laughs> okay so today is the next day after my fasting so yesterday is the was the 21st of jan 2023 last year and then my eternal fasting um so let, let me just break it down for you to understand what i mean by that because i think there's a lot of confusion well this is how i understand the story so you can get the story of daniel in the book of daniels so in the book of daniel's chapter one daniel were and the other young men they were taken by the king um king nebuchadnezzar because um he wanted to train them to be more like them you know to know their language their ways of doing because they were kind of taken from the country to that country so they, they were kind of slaves in a way but but um king nebuchadnezzar um made 
okay so basically he wanted to train them for three years and then he told his guards to give the young men who were showing signs of being learned and who can actually be taught the their language and their ways of doing you know um so basically so daniel uh, and his friends so like the the duration of the course was for three years but then it happened that daniel and his friends because they were worshiping idols so the country that they were in the people were, were worshiping idols so daniel and his friends told the god to kind of immune themselves from from eating what the king is offering due to the fact that the same food was the food was sacrificed to the idols so daniel didn't want to eat that and i actually resonate with him because even in the book of first corinthians um paul apostle paul emphasized how we should not eat food that was used for sacrifices and whatnot you get my point so basically this is what happened in the book of daniel chapter one and daniel um so the the god said to daniel Guti, man i can't do that because the king will fight me the the king i'll be in trouble with the king because you won't look like the other young man you know who are part of this training and daniel said to the god train us can, can you at least train us for 10 days and immediately after that um no so daniel said to the god can you at least train us for 10 days and if we don't if you if you don't see any results or we are looking horrible compared to the other man then we will consider eating the food that the king is offering and after that 10 days daniel and his friends i'm referring to shadrach Meshach, and abednego they were looking healthier and far better than the rest of the young men that were eating the food from the king's palace you know so we go to Daniel chapter 10. So in Daniel chapter 10, Daniel was fasting for 10 days. Um, he was not eating anything. He was not even bathing and he did not drink any wine. So for 21 days, only to find out that God responded or gave him an answer on his second day. But because the Prince of Persia actually was blocking his answer and that's how Angel Michael came to rescue the angel assigned to assist daniel um to rescue him from prince of persia so that daniel can get his answer you know so i believe that Daniel fasting is kind of the I think the 21 days Daniel fasting as we say it is it's a combination of both um we are taking the 21 days from the chapter 10 because in chapter 10 daniel was actually mourning you know and in chapter one he was Part, it was part of his training and he didn't want to eat food that will defile him due to the fact that the food was used for sacrifices to their idols you know and as a child of god we're not, we are not allowed to do that we are, we are not supposed to do that for a fact so basically so it's a combination of chapter one and chapter ten this is my understanding of it i can be proven wrong but this is how i get the story this is how i understand the story so enough about the Daniel story this is yeah, this is the context actually behind the, um, the Daniel fasting. So I started fasting on the 1st of Jan to the 21st of Jan 2023. The reason why I fasted is because um, I want to decrease myself so that God can increase in me um, for me to walk in his ways and his will because I'm his child and my life is for his glory. And the Bible says in the book of Proverbs that you may plan your plans, but God will guide your steps, you know. And our his thoughts are way better than our thoughts and for me as, a, as as his child my trust is fully in him because i know that he will never lead me astray and his plans are way better than my plans and the holy spirit is here to lead us and to guide us so i can't be led by my thoughts by, by, by my heart by my i can't be led by these things i have to be led by the holy spirit himself you know and this is why i'm fasting with god i'm humbling myself before your throne so that you may increase in me so that i want to sneeze oh my god bless me jesus so um god <laughs> sorry for that um, so God, please increase in me as I decrease in myself. And I'm very happy that I was able to walk in a grocery store and just grab what I wanted. I referred to the veggies and fruits and walk out without being tempted. I, I was never, well, there was a time, well, there was a time during this fast where people like were eating some junk food, like the things that I don't eat. And I wasn't, I was not even there, you know. So for that, 
God is with me actually you know for me it was a proven fact that God is with me and I'm doing this because he is ho he's, he is by my side you know um he is by my side and I'm able to do this because he is actually it is part of his way and I'm very happy that I managed to finish it and and also I want, I, I want to confuse you so basically um you don't eat anything you just eat whole wheat veggies and fruits and no dairy no meat and you pray three times a day you read your bible in the morning as many well in the morning and in the evening twice minimum but you can read as many as you want as you want um, because the book the bible says in the book of joshua that you should meditate on the word of god day and night so it's kind of important for you to know the word you know because i think it's very important to know the word because we learn more about god and god speaks to us like god speaks to us in different ways and reading his word is a way of him speaking to us you know and um i can reference this with story about jesus and his fasting the 40 days fasting um when the when jesus was tempted by the devil um the devil was 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 pointing out facts about the word you know the word says this because which is true he was being truthful you know the word was saying those, those things but jesus was, was also attacked him by the word of god so it's very important for you to know the word of god because when the devil um tried to manipulate you and say god said this you also fight back and say nah my man like god also said this said this about me so what are you gonna say about that tell me what you you know so it's very important for you to, to know the word and the revelations are gone through the fasting um oh my god this is a very good story so um because you know god speaks to us in different ways and um it's that anyone anything and anyone that is leading me to sin is not for me it's literally not for me because my life is for his glory and we have to follow his statutes commandments laws and you know so it's very important for us to walk in the way of god and <laughs> when, when i'm talking about this the story of the israelites came, came up like though so remember the israelites um in the times of moses and then moving from going to the promised land actually um so every time the israelites sinned against god they were growing far from him so for me it says for me it kind of proves that every time we sin against god we are kind of drawing ourselves away from his presence his glory and horrible things are ought to happen you get my point so basically hence i'm saying that anything that is leading me to sin is not for me and if anyone that is leading me to sin is not for me and i can't you know i cannot <laughs> And another thing I took from this is um, my life is for his glory and I want to do anything that is aligned in his ways and, and will and the purpose that he has for me because I'm here for a reason and I want to fully be involved in his plans because I may be led by my own feelings child which is not aligned to the purpose. One thing about God he's a he's a choice basically you may know the truth but you can choose to do otherwise and he will let you be that's how god is you know we have a choice and that thing it's kind of giving well yeah so another thing i learned is that if you put if you put work in something definitely going to get it you know it's one thing to think about something and it's one thing to actually take action on it the bible says faith without action is dead and i i this that's true you know it's one thing to have faith and it's one thing to work on that thing and jesus christ was working he was traveling into many places preaching his word like and god rested on the seventh day so why are we lazy well okay not, not lazy but why are we resting multiple times while we are supposed to rest for one day you know so we are sleeping we are sleeping on ourselves in a way but this is the things that i learned i learned a lot of stuff and i, I don't want this video to be long that god is faithful god loves us and he's our father he chose us and i'm very 
thankful and grateful for his love and his him being alive, being being my father and in the shade of his wings, you know, it's his, it's so nice to be in the shade of his wings and oh my god, yeah. So basically this is the end of this vlog. Okay, so I showed you some quick, easy meals to eat, you know. This is not only thing that you can eat, but something, some things that you can actually eat, you know. So, but for now, I love you, lords. Don't forget to pray, and it's the beginning. It's it's the beginning of the year, and just make sure that you put God in, put God first in everything that you do. He's the author and finisher of our faith, of our life, and everything is Alpha and Omega. So put him first and everything shall follow. The Bible says, seek first my kingdom and everything shall be added unto you, you know. So basically, this is it. Uh, this is it. So yeah, basically, this is it. And I'll see you next time. But for now, Jesus loves you and God loves you. And the Holy Spirit is in you. And and he's a, he's a gentleman. The Holy Spirit is a gentleman. Just talk to him and he will definitely speak to you and he, he's he's our helper jesus christ promised that the holy spirit he's our helper and i also share some sermons from um the pastors that i really like and i really love they are there i really love watching their sermons so basically i hope you enjoy each and everything and you all i want to sneeze oh my god Ooh, did you cut did you cut Bless me, Jesus. <laughs> Whew. So basically, this is it. Um, I love you, Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry for being weird, but I love you, Lord. And there's something that's coming. Um, be on the lookout. Just, but please, put God in everything. Um, pray. Um, pray without ceasing. Pray and um, work hard. And seek first His kingdom, and everything shall be added and know his promises but we can only know the promises if we read his word because his promises are where it is word. bye people i love you